you have to know when to cut it off and when uh, not to be you know, over aggressive after the whistle or do something illegal because that can really hurt you and hurt the team, especially in a game like this, you can't afford any of those penalties. So you, know, you want to be aggressive, you want to um, let them know that it's going to be a physical fight all day. You want to let them know, know that from play one, but you don't want to do anything um, to hurt your team. You so, yeah, we definitely have to you know, tell those guys about that and then play smarter. You grew up here. What What are your earliest Ohio State-Michigan rivalries, me memories? Um, it was like another holiday. I remember that. You know, you have your Thanksgiving Day um, celebration, and then you know, it was a quick turnaround for another party, another big celebration, everyone wearing their jerseys. It was always uh, like a fun day at school. Everyone would dress up, and there'd always be that one kid wearing that <laughs> the blue shirt and everyone give him crap. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just always like another holiday and such a big game. What? Everyone was very excited about that. Was it like the Woodson Boston stuff or was it the, the 2006 game? I, I can never get a grasp on how old you guys are anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, yep. the one two game, that one will go down in history. And it wasn't just that, it was every, every Ohio State team up north game was like that and it, it always will be. When you guys won the championship, every game was in the home of the playoffs. How much, how different, uh, you can, it seems like you could use everything in the dome, whether it's never a factor compared to it was how, a how much, Oh, in a dome? Yeah, all, all three of your playoff games were in domes. Yeah. How much does it radically change playing in lousy weather? Um, yeah, it definitely takes the weather out of it. So like the wind, the cold, the wind can affect kickoffs, passes, field goals, all that. But you still, in, in unforgiving weather, you still want to be able to operate your offense. And it's um, it's tough sometimes, but you, know, you have to be able to adjust quickly. And you know, sometimes the game plan that you go in having isn't what happens and you have something to adjust and, and do what the weather allows you and do what do what's working. So Does it kind of play into the whole character of football, all the toughness, the adversity and all that playing in oh, crummy weather? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Everyone wants to play football when it's sunny and 70 out. But I mean, you know, when it gets a little cold and windy and snowy, some people you know, curl up in that or some people thrive in that. And I noticed Saturday when we went out and the snowflakes started falling. We were very excited. I said it was the weather for the wolves. So it was, uh, it was fun playing in that. And yeah, I think it, it's definitely a testament to the game of football and, and the toughness aspect of it. Pat, you're, talk, you're talking question. about your, your youth and you know, growing up here with, with the rivalry. How different is it when you're just a fan than when you're a player in this rivalry? And I mean that in terms of like, do you have a different type of respect for Michigan? as a player than you would when you were a kid and just as a fan? Um, yeah, just, and you have a different type of respect for them. Just, you respect you know, what they do as a football player and as a team, and you respect the work that everyone puts in to this game. Whereas a fan, it's just, you know, you have your your home team that you, you, know, you bleed scarlet and gray and, and the other team. And, and it's you know it's a rivalry as a fan, um, but yeah, it's it's obviously different from when you're in it and you do it, and this is what this is your life and what you do, and, and you respect every opponent. But um, yeah, it's it's definitely different from players and fans. Yeah, you have.